13, use a professional PowerPoint presentation. The exact PowerPoint presentation that I've used is down below on the blog, free for you to download. So grab it, use it, get to know it. 14, number 14, don't be a salesman. I mean, when, when you were growing up, did, did anyone ever say, I want to be a salesman? Did you say that? Nah, most people did. And what I mean by this is when you're spreading the word, use negative language. Say things like, you know what, our, our program's probably, it's not right for everyone. It may not be right for you. But if you're interested in finding out more info, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that kind of negative phrasing uh, takes the sales out of salesmen. And it is very powerful, and it's easy for anybody to do. So, uh, number 15, approach people who know a good deal when they see one. These are your realtors, mortgage brokers, attorneys, inspectors, contractors. They're great prospects. Sorry, there's a gnat flying around. Um, number 18, the fortunes in the follow-up. You may have heard that one before, but as soon as you meet with someone in that form of appointment, follow up with them with every deal that matches their needs and goals. Uh, 19, create an accountability system. Um, this could be as simple as um, writing out your action plan for the week, handing it to your spouse or child or friend, and them checking up on you on a weekly basis. can be that easy. Whatever works for you. Uh, 20, make a list of five prospects right now to call and set up an appointment and put a date on it by which you have called all five people. Uh, sorry, I keep swatting at these gnats around. Um, all right, 21. RIA's Real Estate Investing Associations are gold mines for private money. Um, a lot of people there are already sold on real estate. Now it's time to sell them on the simple thing that they can write a check, lend it to you, and invest in real estate without dealing with contractors or tenants or any of those type things. Uh, 22. Fill out a customer survey when you sign up every private lender. Find out what their interests are. Find out when their birthday is, when their anniversary is. Um, and we're going to use that information in a tip in a moment. Um, let's see. 24, or no, 23. Get every private lender to sign a disclaimer. Um, that's just, it's good to have everything out on paper, and you can get that signed at the closing. Number 24, never use the word guarantee uh, when talking about or marketing for private money. That is against SEC regulations. Don't do it. Uh, 25, all advertising for private money should be geared towards teaching people how to make good returns back by real estate. It should not be about an investing opportunity itself. Again, that keeps you out of any kind of SEC regulation trouble. 26, mail out a thank you card the same day you meet with any private money prospect. It's, it's, it, if you've received a thank you card before after meeting with someone, it gives you a good feeling. And uh, it's easy to do. It's so easy to do. It's also easy not to do, but do it. It makes a good impression. 27, surprise your private lenders. Now that you have the customer profile filled out, surprise them on their birthday. Uh, su surprise them with a gift card to one of their favorite restaurants. Whatever. Build that relationship. 28, ask for referrals. The better relationships you have, the more willing people are going to be to give you referrals. Then that creates perpetual new investors into your company, and it's a very powerful thing. 29, when structuring a loan, plan for the worst. You know, you may have an ABC exit strategy, um, but make sure when structuring that loan, it makes sense for all of your backup plans, your what-ifs with any property that you buy. Uh, so make sure the loan matches your deal in the worst-case scenario. 30, set a date when you'll have your first deal closed using private money. Write it down right now. Number 31, mail out professional letters to your private money lenders to further build that relationship and gain additional touches. Every time you get something in their hands, that's a reminder that they're doing business with you. That gives them one more reason to go tell someone else about it. That's how you get your private money program on the fast track, truly. Uh, 32, line up backup private lenders just in case. 33, repeat after me. I provide excellent investment opportunities for the right people. So what's in question is not my opportunities. It's whether or not any one prospect is right for it. That's what's in question. 34, get a mentor. There's, there's tons of different mentoring programs. Find the person that you like and join their program because there's nothing more valuable than getting advice from someone who's been there and done that. Um, I've been in mentoring programs 
every year that I've been in business and I'll continue being in them into the future. It's well worth it. 35, reframe that uncomfortable feeling you feel when doing new things to mean something else. So when you're stepping out doing some of this new stuff, you're going to feel a little uncomfortable. Realize up here that what's happening actually is you're taking steps towards your goals, towards your success. And so immediately when you get that feeling, just think, hey, I'm on my way. That's right. Um, 36, present an investment program first. That's built into the free PowerPoint you can download below. Um, not a deal. Don't go in presenting a deal because it's easier for them to um, find something wrong with that deal than an investment program. And 37, 37, number 37 tip for, private, for getting private money. If you're unhappy with your current results, do something different. Wow, what a tip. <laughs> if, if what you're doing is not working, it's not getting you where you want, do something different. Use what I've taught you today. Get out there and take action. Here's a bonus bonus uh, tip for today. Take massive action. That's all that matters. That's where you learn how, how to do this. And if you have any questions, email me, Patrick, at, mu at mustknowinvesting.com. See you next week for part five.